Hi there. Welcome back to the Bobtail Help Desk. Recently, we've been talking to a lot of new owner operators or soon to be owner operators, and we get one question more than any other. What kind of truck should I buy? Let's talk about it. My name is Caroline. I work for Bobtail. We have a factoring service for truckers with no long-term contracts and no hidden fees. And this is the Bobtail Help Desk. Our goal with this channel is to help your trucking business thrive. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on one of our videos. Okay, let's get into it. What do you need to know about buying a truck for your business? We're gonna cover how you should choose what type of truck you buy, where you should buy it, and how you can finance it. So let's start with that most popular question. What kind of truck should I buy? Unfortunately, I think this is the wrong question to ask. What you really should be asking is, what kind of business do I want to run? Once you know what you're going to do with your trucking business, the type of truck will just follow. So here are some questions to help you get to that answer. What do you want to haul? Where do you want to go? And what are you authorized to operate? If you're going to do smaller local deliveries, you might want to look into a box truck. If you're going to be hauling refrigerated food, you're going to need a reefer trailer. If you're going to be hauling a lot of overweight loads, you're going to need more horsepower. If you're a newer CDLA driver, then maybe you want to look into a dry van. If you're going to go really long distances, spending most of your waking hours in the cab of your truck, then you probably want to save up so that you can afford something more luxurious with more of the comforts of home. But if you're dreaming of growing a larger fleet, maybe you want better access to parts, meaning you're going to get a more generic brand. This is where your trucking business plan comes in to inform what it is you want to do now and what you want to grow to in the future. There is no one size fits all truck for every business because trucking is a diverse industry with lots of different niches. What needs of the industry is your company going to serve? Once you know what type of truck you're going to buy, you may still have some lingering questions. A lot of people wonder, should I buy a new truck or a used truck? But for most new owner operators, this really isn't much of a question because new trucks have such a high cost. There is actually quite a large market for used trucks in decent condition. This is because those mega carriers will buy new trucks every three to four years and put their trucks on the used truck market. Buying a new truck does come with a hefty price tag, but it's not for nothing. New trucks come with pretty extensive warranties that cover things that you may have to pay for out of pocket if you get a used truck. Another common question is how much power do I need? But this comes back to those questions about your business. What kind of freight are you going to haul? Some new owner operators will make the mistake of buying all the power that they can afford so that they can be ready to haul anything. But remember that more powerful engines typically take more fuel to run. So instead of buying a truck for anything, plan out your business and the type of truck will follow. Once you know what type of truck you're going to buy, now you have to figure out where you're going to buy it. Your best bet is to establish a working relationship with a local dealership. When you're buying your first truck, you probably don't have a lot of money, but you do have something that's even more valuable. And that's time. Once you become an active business owner, you're not going to have as much time to build relationships and shop around for the best deal. So take advantage of the time that you have to go and visit your local dealerships, meet the people and see what they have to offer. Buying from private sellers can also be an option, but be very wary of the deals that you see online and always get a pre-purchase inspection. If someone is selling you a truck and won't let you do a pre-purchase inspection, run away, do not buy that truck. And if you find a great deal on a truck that's really far away that you can't get to physically, you can always ask them for a video call to show you the truck before you make a decision. Okay, you know which type of truck you're going to buy, you know where you're going to buy it, and now we're gonna talk about financing. When you get a truck for your business, you typically have three options. Buy with cash, get a loan, or lease from a carrier. Buying with cash is pretty straightforward. This means you have all the money saved up to pay for the truck in full. This can be a great option if you already have the cash saved up and you're planning on being in the business for a while. It's especially good if you don't have a great credit score, anything below 700. But buying in cash means you need to plan out your finances in a way that you don't spend every single cent on your truck. Remember that there are a lot of upfront costs when you're starting your trucking business and costs of operation will make money pretty tight, at least in the first year. Okay, but let's say you don't have all of that cash lying around. What do you do? Well, another option is to finance with a loan, which will have a pretty significant down payment, but not nearly as much as buying the truck outright. Typically, a down payment for a truck will be anywhere between 10 and 25% of the value of the vehicle. 
Then you'll have a monthly truck payment that includes interest on the loan. Financing can also be a great option, especially if you have a better credit score, anything above 700. Financing means that you don't have to spend all that cash up front that you would if you bought the truck outright. You can also deduct the truck payments and interest from your income when tax season rolls around. However, if you don't have a great credit score, then you may be in for some pretty high interest rates or be denied for a loan altogether. Finally, leasing a truck can be a good option if you're not sure how long you wanna be in the business or you don't have a lot of savings or a good credit score. Financially speaking, a lease is the least favorable of all of these options because you're going to pay a fee to lease the truck and a percentage of your earnings to the carrier you lease from. Leasing also means that you're tied to a carrier and you have to abide by their rules and only haul their loads. And unfortunately, there are a lot of bad leasing agreements out there. So be very careful and only lease from a really reputable carrier. But let's go back to talking about loans. How much does financing a truck really cost? The cost of financing a loan is broken down into two parts, the down payment and the interest. The down payment is that upfront cost that you have to pay to drive the truck off the lot. And then you pay a truck payment each month that has that interest added on. As a new business owner, your interest rate is largely going to depend on market conditions and your credit score. And since the federal government has been raising interest rates to combat inflation, that means that gone are the days of the three to 5% interest rate. That being said, market conditions can change from month to month. So this information is really based on quarter four of 2022. So let's look at some ranges to see what you can expect. If your credit score is less than 600, you probably shouldn't be looking into financing a truck. You're either going to get really, really high interest rates or be denied altogether. With a score between 600 and 650, you're likely looking at a 25 to 35% down payment plus a 10 to 20% interest rate. If your credit score is between 650 and 700, then you're probably looking more at 10 to 15% down plus 10 to 15% interest. And if you have a good or excellent credit score, anything above 700, then you're still probably looking at about 10 to 15% down, but you may be able to get an interest rate more like six to 10%. Okay, but where can you get this financing? Shopping for financing is just as important, if not more important than shopping for your truck. Too many new owner operators just go with whatever financing option is available through the dealership. It could very well be the best deal in town, and it could be the worst deal in town, but you won't know until you shop around. In fact, you should be looking into financing well before you start shopping for your truck. And here's why. The first is that you'll get an understanding for how much financing you qualify for. This might put limits on the type of truck you buy. The second is that you'll have plenty of time to decide which financier to go with. Commercial truck loans are quite different from personal vehicle loans. In fact, most big banks and credit unions won't finance trucks for first time buyers. But don't worry, here are some places you can look for financing. Call the dealerships in your area and ask what financiers they partner with. Also pay a visit to small local banks, especially if you have a good relationship with one. You can also research these companies for their first time truck buying programs. Once you've been in the business for a couple of years and you can produce strong financial reports, you're going to be able to work with other banks like Bank of America, Chase, and PNC. When comparing financing options, there are some more considerations in addition to the down payment and the interest rate. The term of the loan is how long it's going to take for you to pay that truck off. You'll want a term for the loan only as long as that truck is going to be in good working condition. That's typically three years or 36 months for a used truck. The next is extra conditions. Additional conditions on a loan can include things like having a specific type of warranty on your truck. Having a warranty on your truck isn't a bad idea, but you should be able to choose the warranty that you get based on the cost and what it covers. Another common condition when buying trucks is an end of term buyout. This means that you're going to pay a specific percentage at the end of the loan agreement. This is generally not recommended because it's impossible to know what your business is going to look like in two or three years at the end of the term of your loan. 
Instead, you can get an agreement to pay the truck off in full by the end of the term. There can be other conditions in your loan agreement, so please read that agreement very carefully and ask anything that you don't understand. I hope this conversation about interest rates and down payments doesn't completely discourage you from getting into this business. It's true that you alone cannot control market conditions and whether or not the federal government continues to raise interest rates. But you do have control over one really important thing, and that's your credit score. As I mentioned before, you really shouldn't be financing a truck with bad credit. You will pay an astronomical interest rate and really high insurance premiums. But there is a lot you can do or not do to improve your credit score. It's never too late to try and improve your credit score because it impacts so many other things in your life. Basically, what lenders want to see is that you pay your bills on time. So here are some steps that you can take. Please note that we are not financial advisors. This is the basic information about credit scores. And if you want more information, you can follow the link in our description that gives you more insight into how credit scores are calculated and how to improve yours. The first and probably most important is to pay your credit card bills on time. It's time to set a reminder every month to pay at least the minimum payment that you need on your credit card. If you can, you should be paying the whole balance so that you don't incur any interest. Doing this consistently over time will help your credit score improve. Another thing to keep track of is paying your child support obligations. Paying child support on time every month is a good indication that you are meeting your financial obligations. Next is be careful or stop paying with checks altogether. If you have a history of writing bounced checks, switch to using certified checks or another method of payment. If you can avoid it, don't take on any more debt. Remember, missing payments on debt is a big driver of bad credit scores. Depending on the length of your credit history and how many missed payments you've had over time, it can take multiple years to improve your credit score. But learning to maintain good credit is excellent practice for the discipline required to run a trucking business. Not to mention that it will save you thousands of dollars in interest. Regardless of your credit, you're going to need really strong cash flow to keep up with all the expenses of your new trucking business. Keeping up with payments on fuel, driver pay, and insurance can get tough when brokers won't pay you for 30 to 60 days after you deliver the loads. And that's where Bobtail comes in. We offer the best freight factoring service in the industry, so you get paid fast. We don't make you sign a long-term contract, and we don't charge any hidden fees. Also, we have great customer service and a really easy to use mobile app for managing all your invoices. If you're interested, check out the link below or visit bobtail.com for more information. And I'll see you next time on the Bobtail Help Desk.